Are you serious? Can I ask this question? Why is Al Jazeera television giving Anthony Weiner money for his campaign in New York City? New York City? What? Now, 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 no, 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 no. Those puzzled by the notion of New York City Mayor candidate Anthony Weiner accepting money from Al Jazeera may want to consider a better question. Why is Al Jazeera giving money to him in the first place? I mean, we can't figure it out except for one reason. His wife is a devoted Muslim and with extensive, irrefutable family connections to the Muslim Brotherhood. I mean, she's a daughter of the Muslim Sisterhood. So the propaganda by Al Jazeera is being piped all over the Middle East. Now also, a Anthony Weiner's wife was the chief of staff for Hillary Rodham Clinton. So is that why Al Jazeera, matter of fact, here's a picture. Here's a, uh, there's the Speaker of the House, John Bonner, along with, uh, there's Anthony Weiner. And um, the lady in the middle, that is his wife, uh, Uma. And she is, uh, of course, the daughter of the Muslim Sisterhood. And she is, and she was also the, the uh, chief of staff to Hillary Rodham Clinton when Hillary was the Secretary of State. So, what, why, I mean, okay, I'm not, it's not a crime? to accept money from Al Jazeera TV. We're not saying anything about that. It's not corruption. It's not a crime. It's just you have to ask yourself, what is the, what is the, what do they want in return? I mean, when you're running for mayor of a city, you're, you're running to be the leader of that city, of the people who live in that city, and what's right for that city within the country of America. Why would a foreign Muslim propaganda type News agency. And let me just say this before I say any more. Al Jazeera at times brings forth some of the information they bring forth uh, is factual when our own American news organizations won't even cover stuff. I mean, sometimes I get information from Al Jazeera because I can't get it from CNN or NBC or ABC or MSNBC or, or nobody over here. Having said that, you still have to read between the lines. You still have to glean from the situation what's, what's happening. Now, then you know that there's certainly a, uh, a, an, a radical Islamic uh, slant to uh, Al Jazeera's news agency. Someone said, well, you're, Paul, you propagate. You're all the time propagating Jesus Christ. Right. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I have a Jesus Christ slant on everything I do. What? even more than a Jesus Christ slant. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. <laughs> I mean, I'm totally preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, but uh, th that's because I'm called to preach. Anthony Weiner is trying to become the mayor of New York, and uh, there is a connection here. Al Jazeera... Uh, and its lobbyists are no friends to New York City or to the Jewish community at all. And Anthony Weiner shouldn't be accepting any support from them. They have spread hate and lies against the Jewish people, not only here in New York, but across the world. The right thing to do is give the money back. No, the right thing to do is not even have anything to do with them. Never accepted it in the first place. Anthony should do exactly that. Give the money back and say, hey, uh, I'm not want anything to do with that. Although Weiner is the only Jew in the crowded Democratic field for mayor and often touts his support of Israel, he is refusing, I mean, he is receiving financial campaign money from Al Jazeera. All right, well, it's a convoluted world. It looks like a new world order to me. Just go ahead and throw uh, Elliot Spitzer in the middle of that mix for Comptroller of New York, and you've got a, a recipe for disaster. I'll be right back, though. I do have some very, very, and I want to thank Neela uh, from Florida for sending that information to me. It's a very, very, very great question, and it needs to be answered.
Well, I'm going to be right back because I've got a very powerful information about the peace talk that's going on between Israel and Palestine and Obama's secret plan that's, that he's trying to sneak in that's being reported by World Net Daily. And I'll be right back and let's take a look how that completely ties in to Bible prophecy. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. 